Hello guys, it is me again, VV7200. Today we're doing a quick video of the newest addition to my computer collection. This is a 2006, a late 2006 MacBook Pro. It is the original style that came out, the older aluminum style, that is more similar to a PowerBook G4 in the new aluminum unibodies. But I like this style, it's got a special place in my heart, I really like how they look. So. I decided to get an older one and fix it up and use it as a secondary machine. Um, I bought this thing as a blind buy, meaning I had pretty much no idea what it was when I ordered it. It's not really because I didn't look, it's because the uh, seller didn't really provide anything. A lot of times when you look for these things that are um, for parts or repair, the um, Sellers just don't have the time or they don't want to actually look into what they have and see what's wrong with them Unfortunately, that's really just laziness on their part um, But a lot of times they can't actually check be for you know certain different reasons being that either they don't work or They just don't know how to check what they have on these ones though. It's pretty simple to see the specs You don't even have to turn them on um, There is a Sorry. There is a list of what it came with originally on the bottom of the computer in the battery compartment. So it's very easy to see what its specs are if you just know where to look or you take the time to look, which really isn't that long. Um, whereas Windows computers, it's different. They don't usually do that stuff. Or these ones is also easy to check if you just run the model number, which takes a couple seconds in Google. All you have to do is just search MacBook Pro model this is an a1211 that's literally all you need to type in and then an every mac link will come up and you'll be able to see pretty much everything this thing came with but it's neither here nor there so i did what i could by looking on the computer looking at all the pictures i could not read the serial number or the specs that it had because the pictures just weren't that great they didn't really get in close to them i could make out however the model number which I searched and found out that this is a late 2006 um, like I just said before I paid 50 bucks for this thing with no shipping and it just it didn't come with a battery or a charger a battery for these things are like 16 bucks and a charger I had lying around so um, yeah it's got a hundred and twenty gigabyte hard drive a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo uh, two gigs of RAM I ordered more RAM and a battery for it they should be coming any day now um, it's running Lion, which I put on there. Lion is as high as these things will go officially. However, I actually am dual booting Mavericks on this. However, Mavericks is very buggy in this, and it really doesn't work. Um, it'll run Mavericks. That's pretty much it. Um, because of the graphics chips in these things, it only has... It basically runs like the bare-bones version of Mavericks. I think it even thinks it's like a Mac Pro or something with an external display. And... You see how the graph, oh, it doesn't say here, hang on. It, this is, has 128 megabytes of video RAM. If you go to, in Mavericks, it shows six or five or something crazy like that. But it does know what kind of chipset it has. It just doesn't read all the memory. So that leads to some problems with the graphics. Um, but it can be fixed with texts and editing them and such. And I really just don't have the time to do it. Um, but yeah, this is Lion, as you can see. you got the glorious old-style dock with the Aqua interface that I love. Um, I really hate that they got rid of it. I don't know why they would. It was a beautiful operating system, or a beautiful uh, GUI. I really liked it. I don't know why they got rid of it. Um, you can see it does have the backlit keyboard, which... And it also has the glossy display, too. I don't know if you can really see, but there's kind of a, ref a reflection right there. This one has the eyesight camera, obviously, as all these did. It has the infrared port down here for the remote, which is cool. I guess if I ever want to get a remote, I could use it. Um, when I got it, the graphics weren't working on it for some reason. You turn it on, and it would just have a bunch of blue lines. Um, that was a common problem on these models. The soldering technique, I think, they used for the motherboard. It was really wasn't a perfected technology at the time. So just a lot of these motherboards failed. Not as much as the later ones, which were primarily because of the NVIDIA chipset that came in the later models, I think like 2007, 2008. This one has Radeon in it, so... However, it did not escape from the graphics torture. However, it's easily fixed. You just have to tear it down, take out the uh, motherboard, 
and set it up into a oven and cook it for like seven minutes at 375 degrees, I think, something like that. And it's basically the poor man's way of reflowing the motherboard. It works. I really, I could care less if it did or not, to be honest. But if it didn't work, I was just probably going to buy another one and see what I can do with it. But it works, so I have this one, and might as well make most of what I got. So like I said, I'm putting hopefully maybe an SSD later on. I really don't need that right now, but I am putting the RAM and the battery in. So I guess now I can boot into Mavericks, just to show you that I'm not lying. It really does run Mavericks, even though these things are not supposed to. So I have to hold down the option key and pick the... Oh, I think I might have missed it. Hopefully I got it in time. Don't see an Apple logo yet. So that's kind of a good sign that I didn't miss the key. Do, 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 do. Also, the CD drive is broken. Or it's not, it, run, it reads discs and everything, it just won't eject them. So I still have my Leopard disc in there. So I'm going to go to Mac HD and wait a little longer. I really need to get a battery for this thing just because it's a MagSafe charger, and MagSafe chargers fucking come out god easily, like, you could blow on it, it'll come out, which is really annoying. It's good that it doesn't ruin the computer or the charger, it's just annoying trying to keep it plugged in with no battery. And I feel really bad for the hard drive in this thing, just getting parked and like that and getting the power ripped out of it, so I really need to get a battery so that doesn't happen anymore, but... Batteries for these things, unfortunately, the the original ones did not last. They didn't age well, and the new ones are all Chinese um, replacements, so they bulge a lot. I've heard a lot of stories of people buying them, and in, within like a couple months, they just start bulging. Bulging. All right, so we're in Mavericks. The first thing you can see that's wrong with the graphics is this freaking these lines here. I noticed that when I first turned it on. I'm like, what the hell is that? I thought it was the LCD. It's because of Mad it, the graphics aren't being utilized completely. So I'll type in my password. Wait a second. It does run kind of smoothly. I mean, once I get the graphics fixed and everything, yeah, like you saw the lines and all, it's ugly. But it is on Mavericks, as you can see, it has the new dock. Um, if you go to About This Mac, it is running Mavericks, 10.9.2. Which, I'm pissed because I just found out it's not even supported anymore. That's the whole reason I wanted to put this on here, was because um, it's the last of the, I, I call it the classic OS X's, that have this Aqua interface that was supported. However, it's not even supported anymore, which kind of sucks. But, like I said, it's not my main machine, so I'm really not going to worry about it too much. And why is this taking forever? Yeah, you can see there, it says it has 5 megabytes of video RAM, which is why when you do all this, it's... Oh, this actually isn't too bad. But you go to the display, and it thinks it's hooked up to a TV. As you can see there. All because of the custom installer. Also, all the custom Apple apps don't work. Like, I can't... Oh, we got the pinwheel. And there's memory, 2 gigabytes. But, like, I, I can't update iTunes, software update doesn't work, FaceTime doesn't work, messages don't work, it just won't sign you in. But, browsing the internet is a painful experience, mainly because of that graphics thing, and it doesn't have a lot of RAM. That's some of it, but in Lion it's fine, so I'm really blaming it on the graphics. Because Mavericks and Yosemite, yeah, you can see how it's flickering there, whenever you put them out, oh, it just went away. But graphics, or graphics, but Yosemite and Mavericks have this graphics accelerator jargon with them, and it doesn't work well with these old Core 2 Duos and these old graphics chips, as you can see. It's just going all nuts. So, kind of annoying, but it, like I said, it can be fixed. I just don't have the time to do it. You have to download the Lion combo update and take these files from there and go and text at it and do this and that. And it takes a lot of time. But I will have it working one day. Also, sound doesn't work. If you just try to do this, it just says it doesn't have any sound, which sucks. But it does go on the Wi-Fi and everything else, and it works fine. So that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Um, 
expect to see more of this. I'll be doing a RAM upgrade video on the SSD when I get it and all that stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.